There are three scientific languages, I guess, other than English, and they are French, German, and the third is Russian. And what I mean by that is if you go to graduate school, if you go to a good graduate school for mathematics, oftentimes one of the requirements is that you learn a foreign language. Uh, you have to pass some test, some type of proficiency test in French, German, or Russian. And it's because a lot of mathematics was produced in those languages. In this video, we're going to look at a book that was originally published in Russian. So this is a book. Let me show you the cover here. I'm going to be very careful with it. This is a very rare book. Multiple Integrals, Field Theory, and Series by B. M. Budak and S. V. Fomin. And here at C it says, Mir Publishers Moscow. It's pronounced Mir, I believe. And there you see. Really nice book. Let's look at the back here. About the publishers, this is really interesting. Mir Publishers of Moscow publish Soviet scientific and technical literature in 11 languages. English, German, French, Italian, Spanish, Czech, Serbo-Croat, Slovak, Hungarian, Mongolian, and Arabic. Titles include textbooks for higher technical schools and vocational schools, literature on the natural sciences and medicine, including textbooks for medical schools, popular science, and science fiction. The contributors to Mir Publishers list are leading Soviet scientists and engineers in all fields of science and technology and include more than 40 members and corresponding members of the USSR Academy of Sciences. Skilled translators provide a high standard of translation from the original Russian. Many of the titles already issued by Mir Publishers have been adopted as textbooks and manuals at educational establishments in France, Cuba, Egypt, India, and many other countries. I actually have some books um, that were published, um, that, are, that were used in Cuba by Mir Publishers. I, have, I think I have one or two. Uh, they're in Spanish though, but I had some, some, I received those from Cuba. Mir Publishers books in foreign languages are exported by VO, and then it has a name there, I can't read that, and can be purchased or ordered through booksellers in your country dealing with uh, V slash O, and then it has something there. Just got to smell this because this is a classic. Ah, smells so good. So these books are really hard to get in the United States. Very rare. I've been told that, um, someone told me once that, this was the comment I got, when the Soviet Union fell, so it's, it's no longer the Soviet Union, but when it was, when it went away, people were selling these books like on the streets for dollars. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, that's just what I heard. This one's signed, Batia. Let's see what it says here about this particular book. This book covers branches of mathematics increasingly required by physicists, such as multiple line and improper integrals, the theory of fields, and power and trigonometric series, based on lectures read by the authors and physics faculty of Moscow University. The book endeavors to show the connection between various mathematical concepts and their applications, and wherever possible, their physical sense as well. Let me see if there's anything on the back flap here. Be very careful with this. Well, here it talks about the authors. The authors of this text are B. M. Budak and then uh, Professor Fomin, formerly of Moscow State University. Budak was the assistant professor uh, and math, at, at ma the math chair of the physics department, was active mainly in the field of computational mathematics. He is the author of over a hundred publications, wow, on difference methods for solving differential equations, methods of solving optimal control problems, stochastic problems, methods of solving ill-conditioned problems. Fulman was a lecturer at the Department of Mechanics and Mathematics. His principal lines of research were topology, functional analysis, and mathematical aspects of biology. Wow. Wow. He is the author of over 70 publications, among them textbooks and manuals for college and university students. Several have been translated into foreign languages. So this book is written by leading researchers. These are some of the best people in the world, right? And this book was uh, originally written in Russian. Let's go ahead and go through it very carefully, look at the topics and stuff. So there's the inside cover. It says something here, uh, which I can't read. I don't, I don't speak Russian. And then here it says, translated from the Russian by V.M. Volosov D.S.C. Mere Publishers Moscow. So the fact that it was translated already is epic. Um, I think it is a monumental task to translate a math book to any language, from any language. It's just very, very impressive. An advanced course in higher mathematics. 
So this is the second printing, first published in 73, it says, and this one was uh, in 78. Nice. Here's the preface. The present book is based on lectures given by the authors at the physical department of the Lomonosov State University of Moscow. In the presentation of, mat of the material, much emphasis has been placed on the physical meaning of mathematical notions and their interrelation as well as on the applications and computational aspects. Then here it talks a little bit about the, the book and the chapters. Let's skip that and just go to the topics. So this is the contents. Double integrals, that's where it starts. Wow, so it starts with double integrals. So double integrals are something you would see in a Calc 3 class, right? Wow, the concept of measure. This book does not, they don't mess around. These old Russian texts are just so hardcore. I just love it. Definition and basic properties of double integral. And I feel like you find math and explanations in these books that you don't find in other books. I've often seen techniques and just explanations that are just not in modern books. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, additive set functions, derivative of a set function with respect to area. Some physical and geometric geometrical applications of the double integrals. So a lot of stuff on double integrals here, right? Just tons of stuff here. Spending a lot of time on that. Then here we have some more topics. Reducing double integral to a twofold iterated integral. Change of variables in double integral. Chapter two is triple integrals and multiple integrals of higher order. Just a lot of a lot of information on double and triple integrals, right? I mean, that is multiple integrals. That is that is one of the titles of the book, right? So it just spends an incredible amount of time on that, which is nice because not a lot of time is spent in a calculus class. I mean, not, not, not as much as this. Not as much as this, because you just don't have time. Elements of differential geometry. That's cool. So differential geometry you could study today in college if you wanted to, if, you're, if your school offers it. Uh, a lot of times it's a course that is simply not taught, uh, or it's an elective and it's not offered very often. Let's see some of the more interesting topics there. Let's turn the page. More integration line integrals, another Calc 3 topic. Definition of line integral of the first type. Properties of line integrals. Some applications of line integrals of the first type. Line integrals of the second type. We have Green's formula. We have surface integrals. Stokes theorem, field theory, so vector fields. So by, by field theory, they don't mean like, um, you know, fields from abstract algebra, okay? They don't mean that type of field. This is stuff that's related mostly to physics. Then we have tensors down here. This is something, again, that, again, you could study this in a course on tensors as an undergrad. Typically, it's an elective type course. Uh, if you were to get like an applied math degree, it would probably be required. You have functional sequences in series, so uniform convergence. A lot of information in this book, right? It's very dense. Um, we're, when we look at the book in a minute, you're going to see how quickly it goes through the material, but that's why it covers so many topics. Improper integrals, integrals dependent on parameter, Fourier series and Fourier integral. Look at this, it just keeps going. It's gonna go slow here so you can read some of these topics. There's an incredible amount of information. And then that's pretty much it. It's got a couple appendices and some supplements. Basic types of computer. <laughs> that's cool, right? Representing numbers within a computer. So it goes into some computational stuff, like you know, with computers. Basic operations execute, executed by a computer. Elements of programming. Yeah, and this is, this is from the 70s, right? And they're talking about programming. So this is pretty, you know, forward-looking. Here we go. Let's read this. Definite integrals. The definite integral, f of x with respect to x from a to b, is connected with the problems of determining the distance passed for a given speed, computing the area of a curved linear trapezoid, etc. There are many similar problems involving functions of dependent not on one, but on many arguments. A typical problem of this kind is to find the volume of a curved linear cylinder, which is a three-dimensional analog of a curved linear trapezoid. And then here it gives you the curved linear cylinder. That's a pretty good picture, by the way. That's a really good picture. It looks like it's hand-drawn. Let me zoom in so you can see that. It's pretty impressive. 
Yeah. That totally looks hand-drawn to me. Yeah, I don't know how they made these books back then, but you can see how, how to the point it is. And it's pretty advanced, right? It's pretty advanced. Um, I cannot see this being used today as a book in an undergrad course unless it was like, you know, specifically used for advanced undergrads. And obviously you would have to have a lecture and stuff and notes and, you know, a teacher to help you, you know, dissect the information to give you their version of what's in the book and try to fill in missing details uh, and things like that. But you can see these, these, old, these old Soviet era books are really hardcore. And I don't know, I just kind of like that. It's just different. It's a piece of history. As a collector of, of math books, um, you know, I think it's amazing, right? A book like this is very, very rare, very hard to get. Um, I don't believe, let's see, let's go back to the, um, let's go back to the contents here. I want to check something. Yeah, has a name index, a subject index. Yeah, let's go to the end of the first chapter here. So chapter one. So you see there's, I don't see, I don't see exercises. Right, I don't see exercises in this book. So some of these books have exercises, some of them don't. This has a lot of examples. Um, yeah, really beautiful. I gotta smell it one more time here, just, just. Uh, let's skip ahead to like a random section so you can see some more stuff here. Oh, absolute convergence. I mean, that's something you hear about in a Calc 2 class in some sense, right? With series. Here they're talking about uh, a double integral. It's said to be absolute convergent if this integral converges, right? If the absolute value. Yeah, just same thing with series, right? If you have an infinite sum, it's the same thing. You'll say the sum converges if, if it converges in absolute. It converges absolutely if it converges in absolute value. That's what they're saying here. So it's just very, very similar test for absolute convergence, the general comparison test. Um, that's cool. You have comparison tests for series as well. So you see a lot of analogs uh, between other areas of math. Really beautiful. Wow. Equivalence of convergence and absolute convergence in the case of improper multiple integral. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes the English is not 100%, right? Because it's a translation. Let's take a look at the appendices. See what we have back here. Supplement. Asymptotic expansions. Mm, beautiful. That's the first supplement. Let's see what the second one is. That's supplement one. I'm being careful here with my pages. I don't want to damage this book. Supplement two. Oh, universal digital computers. Oh, cool. This is the computer stuff. This supplement provides an introduction to modern digital computers their operation and use. It cannot be regarded as a systematic account of the computer theory and programming methods. And for greater detail, we refer the reader to special books. <laughs> so cool. Computers, wow. Introduction, many problems of modern science and engineering require extensive calculations to obtain results of practical importance. The amount of work may be so large that the calculations either cannot be carried out manually or take so much time that the result becomes useless. For example, it makes no sense to forecast the next day's weather by applying a method that takes a month of computational work. That's a good, that's a good example. Yeah, and it talks about the basic types of computer. Computing machines are divided into two basic classes. Machines of discrete operation referred to as digital and machines of continuous operation called analog. A digital computer operates with numbers represented in a positional number system. An analog computer represents variables by means of some physical processes and quantities such as electric currents, voltages, mechanical displacements, and so on. That may vary continuously. Interesting. In analog computers, only the final results take the digital form. Analog computers are widely applied, mostly when high accuracy is not required, but in modern computational mathematics, they are of less importance than digital machines. This reminds me uh, of other books uh, published by Mirror Publishers. Uh, I saw a book once, I don't own this one, it was on like, I think it was on like refrigerators or like the microwave or something. And it talks about like microwaves and how microwaves are made. It's just, they have books on everything, right? All the sciences, not just mathematics. I have a book uh, on bees and people. It talks about like bees and how people are related to them. And you know, it's really scientific. It's called, it's actually called Bees and People. Um, so they have a lot of really interesting books on all areas of science. They have some that are not science. I actually have a, a cookbook 
um, that was published by Mirror Publishers. So, yeah, quite interesting. Anyways, I just wanted to show you this really rare book. Um, there's other books like this by Mirror Publishers. They're all very, very rare, uh, and the price is very wildly. Um, I forgot when I bought this. It's been a while. Oh, let's take the dust jacket off. Oh, look at that. Look how blue that is. Wow. Wow. Look at that. It's fancy looking. It's almost like glitter. It's in such good condition. This is a masterpiece. Yeah, you can tell I'm a collector. <laughs> so, oh, I love stuff like this. I collect all kinds of things, but this is a nice book. Anyways, uh, that's it. I just wanted to show you this book. Uh, if you found any value in this content at all, and you know, feel free to subscribe if you want to. Um, if you want to learn mathematics, I, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but um, if you get them, please use my website as it helps me. And I have courses on algebra, calculus, uh, differential equations, some advanced calculus, some abstract algebra, stuff like that. And yeah, I set the prices to be really low. So if you use my website, if you use those links, not only does it help me, but I'm pretty sure you get like a really low price because I, I, I lowered it to the minimum. But yeah, Mirror Publishers. So if you take anything away from this video, it's that um, these are really rare books, at least here in the US. I know in other countries, people have them. Um, I have a YouTube channel in Spanish and people are always going on about like, oh yeah, it's, they're, they're cheap here, but it's all about shipping too, right? A lot of times like the shipping is expensive. So yeah. Anyways, until next time, good luck, take care, keep doing mathematics.